on me. I promise that. What's up, Brett? Tomorrow, I go. Okay, I'm going to go. Oh, oh. WWE2K Okay And there's two carries to the case of I saw Noriki and the Swiss bit And I'm up to with um with the impact bits No No John Cena with City Park to become the number one contender for the WWE Championship and face the WWE Championship El Paso Galileo for the WWE Championship at night of shepherds. Okay, let's go to it right now. It was my destiny to be the WWE champion. I want to represent every one of you. I mean, this match is over. With respect. This is not the mark of a true champion. With honesty. That's no way for a champion to act. I am. A real champion. You are not a champion! I am tired of you bullying people because you say you can. And that golden destiny that you got your hands on, that makes you a tar- Which man is gonna continue the illustrious heritage of the WWE title. Is it going to be John Cena or is it going to be Alberto Del Rio? Wait a minute! That's Del Rio's fly yellow Ferrari! I love John Cena's strategy. Kicking this thing off with a little mind games. Think you're the only one who can drive fancy cars down the ring. I stole your Ferrari. How's that make you feel? Oh, <laughs> John Cena. Ladies and gentlemen, this is about the WWE Championship, the most coveted prize in sports entertainment since 1963. And John Cena, the challenger, has held the title a record nine times. Yeah. Come on. So mad. I can't believe John Cena stole Alberto Del Rio's bright yellow, very expensive sports car and drove it out here tonight. Oh, come on, Michael. It was just a joyride. That car is worth $300,000. That's Grand Theft Auto. Cena really should be arrested. Oh. John Cena was awarded this championship opportunity when he defeated CM Punk in a number one contenders match last month on Raw. For my money, King, John Cena versus CM Punk is quickly becoming one of the greatest rivalries of all time. Well, for once, I agree with your assessment of Cena versus Punk, though. It's right up there with The Rock versus Triple H, Bret Hart versus Shawn Michaels, and Randy Savage versus Hulk Hogan. And it's still heating up. I'm willing to bet we'll see much more Cena versus Punk in the coming months. Oh man, what a collision! Oh. And John Cena with so much pent up emotion. And down they go! What an impact! A swift kick. You know, John Cena's no slouch when it comes to his ground game. If John Cena wins here tonight, he'll extend his already record number of WWE Championships to 10. And you know that's on top of his two World Heavyweight Championship reign. Cena, man, there's no getting up from that. Oh, 
about John Cena is like a machine on Alberto Del Rio right now. It's got to be taking its toll on Del Rio. This match is all about which man will continue the heritage of the illustrious WWE title. Will it be John Cena or Alberto Del Rio? Well, it looks to me like it might be John Cena at this Ladies point. and gentlemen, John Cena is now a 10-time WWE champion. Oh, that's great. Let me say it. The champ is here. Yeah. Well, let's just savor this reaction for a moment. A picture is worth a thousand words right now. And John Cena is celebrating like it was the first time he ever won the WWE title. You would too, Cole. Yes, yeah, what? I have the balls to say things that nobody else has the balls to say. Who's really pulling the strings? Is it you? Is it your bean-headed wife? You don't wear the pants in the family. But you do wear her panties, don't you? You disrespected me as a man. Now, deal with me as a man. So at Night of Champions, no disqualification, punk. Anything goes. It's not if, but when I beat you, you resign as COO at WWE. Done. The following contest set for one fall is a no disqualification match. Introducing first from Chicago, Illinois, weighing 222 pounds, C M. Punk. Earlier tonight, ladies and gentlemen, John Cena defeated Alberto Del Rio to become a 10-time WWE Champion. Oh, yes, and listen to this crowd. Oh, man, they're excited. But we haven't seen excitement yet. Wait until this thing explodes. Go over the pedigree. 
Going oh, for the go to sleep. And Punk escaping. Thank goodness he's back in the ring. Chaos here at ringside. Way too close for comfort, if you ask me. So much on the line here for Triple H. If he loses to CM Punk tonight, he will be forced out as COO of the WWE. Well, you know, this started out as business, but CM Punk made it personal. And right now, Triple H is hoping to end it. This one's not going to resemble a match. This is two men who are going to tear each other apart here tonight. Oh. Oh, wow. wonder what was going through Triple H's mind when he had to deliver the news to his father-in-law, Mr. McMahon, that he was being relieved of his duties. In Triple H's defense, he was simply following orders from the board of directors. According to them, Mr. McMahon was making extremely questionable decisions of late and had to be replaced. Well, and now that Triple H is running the day-to-day -day operations, I'm sure this year's Thanksgiving dinner at the McMahon house will be more than just a little uncomfortable. I'm still in shock that Triple H had to relieve Mr. McMahon of his duties. This is the same man that created WrestleMania, a pioneer in the pay-per-view business, and the architect of a global empire. Uh, it's no disqualification. Anything goes here tonight. You know, Triple H may have the advantage in this type of match. This is his element. No doubt, King, the game has participated in some of the WWE's most brutal matches ever. CM Punk might live to regret that comment about Stephanie wearing the pants in the family. Yeah, and I don't even want to repeat what CM Punk said the game wears under his pants. You know, seeing Triple H and Kevin Nash's friendship disintegrate the way it has in recent weeks has been truly shocking. I mean, they've been the best of friends since the mid-1990s, practically inseparable. The only thing that separated them was when Kevin Nash left for WCW in 1996. But even then, the two remained very close friends. Yeah, and speaking of Nash's time with WCW, one of my favorite memories from the Monday Night War was when Triple H and DX invaded Monday Nitro. You know, Kevin Nash has since said that he was in the locker room area wishing that he could come out and say hi to his friends. Well, Kevin Nash wasn't exactly in the greatest graces with WCW management at the time. I wouldn't have been surprised if he did come out and give Triple H a big hug. That would have been great. One thing's for certain. You've got to be kidding me. Devastating. Simply devastating. The more punishment he takes, the slower and slower he is getting back to his feet. Yeah. Oh. Look at this! Yeah. Oh, here it comes! This is gonna be it! Pedigree! Oh, man! This is over! And Punk stays alive! What? How did see a Punk kick out of the game's pedigree? This is amazing! What a match! Triple H has gotta be in shock! Hey, hey, hey! Wait a minute! What is he doing here? Nash! Wait, don't get him! Kevin Nash! Stepping over the top rope and in the ring! Oh, he hammers! See him off! And now he goes out! What? Triple H King, what is going on here? What in the world? I mean, this, I don't even know what to say! I don't get it! Kevin Nash! Oh, laying a beat down on the game! What's he thinking? They were best buddies! And a punk! See a punk now coming to get some on Nash! This whole thing is out of control! Kevin Nash now has see a punk in a precarious situation! Oh, look out! Oh, and he's see a punk! What do you make of this? I just don't get it. I don't get it either. Nash has come in, assaulted Punk, assaulted Triple H. And now it looks like he's leaving. Wait a minute. No, oh, oh, and Nash is again blasting the game. Watch out. Coming over here. Wait a minute.
Nash had that coming. All right, see you, Punk, back in the ring. Game, it's time for you to get back in and get it on. Kevin Nash almost single-handedly cost CM Punk his opportunity at the WWE title when he distracted Punk in a number one contenders match on Raw. And that's after Nash played a major role in Alberto Del Rio capturing the WWE title from Punk at SummerSlam. For some reason, Nash really has it out for CM Punk. Keep in mind, King, Kevin Nash was originally slated to take on CM Punk here tonight. Yeah, but that all changed when Punk verbally assaulted the COO of this company and his family. And knowing Triple H the way I do, I'm not at all surprised he inserted himself into this match. CM Punk made it personal, and the game is looking. What happened there? And don't look at me. I'm just as surprised as you are. Well, CM Punk has said numerous times that he wants change. But to get that change, he's going to have to go through what looking at should do. It. How much more? How much more are you willing to pay to win this match? This is unreal. Oh, this isn't good. Wow, that's got to be it. And will this be it? Two, three. Triple H wins. The game has shut down CM Punk. Oh, and most importantly, Triple H has retained his position as COO of the WWE. Any way you look at it, with all the chaos and with everything that went down in this no disqualification match, this is perhaps one of the greatest matches ever. I don't care who you were rooting for, this match was fantastic. Peace. 